you know, 20 years ago, 10 years ago, you, you know, if you really wanted to look at uh, great examples of work within your profession, you had to go to the library or to uh, Barnes and Noble or Borders and get a magazine of, you know, hotel design or something. And now, you know, there's so many different platforms and so many people sharing ideas and sharing information, stealing ideas and stealing information. Uh, you know, there's so much of that. There's so much cross pollination between architecture and interior design and landscape design that, you know, I think it's a, it's a, it's probably a challenge for these universities, you know, to try and keep people within uh, this lane, you know, um, you know, for the last 50 years, I read this book a few years ago where I think it was called shop class for soul craft was the name of it. And it was really about uh, how for the last 50 years, we've all been kind of programmed, go to college, white collar job, and, you know, you, you've got to you got to learn computers. You got to sit at a desk and do all right. these different things. And, and you have to kind of specialize and be this thing. When I think that we're actually getting back and trying to, you know, I've always tried to embrace that pioneer spirit where, you know, I don't really like to be boxed in and say, you know, you're this or that. I think that if you look back at our great grandparents and our great great grandparents, people who actually homesteaded Kansas and, and Oklahoma uh, and Missouri, you know, I think they they were able to do so many things. They might have specialized in one thing that was the thing they did to make money primarily, but they were always working. They always had side hustles. They, you know, you weren't just a blacksmith. You were also a rancher and a farmer and a, you know, a poultry expert and a, you know, they had all these different uh, things. So I like to, I like to do lots of different things. And I think that uh, thankfully we're kind of getting back towards that where yeah. you, know, you can, just because you're a landscape designer or a landscape architect doesn't mean that, you, you know, you don't have ideas about architecture or hospitality or architect. You know, I, I think a lot of our, there are some architects in Kansas city who are better landscape designers than landscape architects that I know. I think that's cool. And I think that's great. And I, I think the more we can break all of those barriers down, I think, uh, and you know, the, the labeling of everything, I'm all for it. I think it's great. Mm -hmm.